Uh, my name is Kathy Siegenthaler. Um, I work for Arbor Circle as a therapist and specifically an infant, toddler, uh, early childhood mental health therapist. Uh, I do home-based work. Um, I also have uh, Spanish-speaking families, uh, all who have recently immigrated to this country and all who have children who are U.S. citizens. Um, the, the children range from between zero to five years old. Um, I am every day experiencing the need for a change of immigration uh, legislation. Um, I can actually get a little emotional because my um, everyday families are in pain about this, uh, of the current situation. Um, they uh, have very difficulty in accessing services. Um, even health care, which is available, they have a hard time getting there, uh, are often having to cancel or maybe not show up for appointments because they can't use the car that they have been using for, for a, a long time since their licenses cannot be renewed. Um, that is a crucial point which is impeding a lot of things obviously because our transportation here in Grand Rapids isn't real good. It's, it's, it's helpful but it's not enough to help families with young children get to medical appointments, get to libraries, uh, get to a number of places which are very important for them to be able to raise their kids. Um, so that uh, I'm also very focused on the fact that many of the parents are uh, ex experiencing ex uh, very difficult mental health issues. It's the reason why they've been referred to me. They're depressed, uh, they're anxious, um, and often very angry. Uh, and sometimes this comes out uh, in, for the young kids. Um, they are angry because their dad has been arrested in front of them, the mothers and the, the young children, um, and uh, don't know what to do with these feelings and are afraid that they're taking them out on their young children. Um, I'm concerned broaderly that the scars of these issues, because I work, I've worked with young children for 40 years or so, um, are going to affect them for years. And they won't only affect um, us, them, but also us. Our schools are affected by ch the children with these issues coming to them, and um, our communities. Um, so I'm very concerned that we do something to change the current legislation to help these children and families. Um, I would like to uh, help the people in my profession, social workers, um, therapists who, who work with young children and families, to be really aware of what the effect this is having on, on these families. Um, as I had said, the scars um, that emotionally that are affecting the kids uh, will show up later on. They will affect their success in school, their emotional issues for further referrals as adults, the, the trauma. Um, and uh, mental health concerns will show up later. And I think we don't really think about this because, um, you know, they're just really young kids right now. Um, uh, so, and in addition to that, I think it's also important for us to realize that when clients do not show up for appointments, um, when they show up with uh, moodiness or act as if they maybe are looking disrespectful, that often they're, they're experiencing some extreme anger and stress due to our system. The other thing I, I would like people to know and look into is the fact that it's actually costing us more for these families to um, uh, be treated in this way. Um, it would be far more economically efficient for our social welfare system to actually have a legal means by which they can access these services. So I would encourage people to pay attention to comprehensive immigration reform and what the, the details are that are explained through that. Um, there, it hits a number of points, including uh, getting, uh, having legal access to licenses, to work which we're inviting them to come here to do, which we depend on people to do, uh, and then also to stabilizing the economic situations in the countries they come from so they wouldn't have to be here uh, to begin with.